Welcome to Mnemonics Corporation Virtual Whiteboard. You just got your virtual whiteboard and I'm sure you're anxious to get started. The first thing you need to do is connect the board to your computer. Connect one end of the USB cable to the side of your board. Connect the other end of the USB cable to your computer. With a USB connection, there's no requirement for an external power supply. The non-rechargeable pen can use either a single AA or a single AAA battery. To gain access to the battery compartment, gently loosen and remove the back cover of the pen. Insert the AA battery with the positive end towards the tip of the pen. The IntelliBoard installation software disk reads certain information from the IntelliBoard's electronics, so the IntelliBoard must be connected to the computer before you begin the software installation. When installation is complete, you'll be prompted to restart your computer. During startup, you should see the IntelliBoard splash screen, which indicates that the driver has been recognized. You should also see a green mnemonics logo in the system tray on your computer. If the logo is red, you need to restart your computer. The multimedia pen functions just like your mouse. The tip of the pen is your left mouse button, and the red button on the side is your right mouse button. Just to press the tip of the pen on the board to click. To right click, hold your pen close to the board and push the red button on the side. Once the IntelliBoard is mounted and the software is installed, the next step is to turn on your LCD projector and align the Windows cursor with the pen. This is known as calibrating. Attach and turn on the LCD projector and the computer. Make sure the projected image does not overlap the soft key icon strips on either side of the board. Using the multimedia pen, press the calibration soft key. It's important to make sure you use the cursor and not the tip of your pen to press the calibrate button. Then, using the tip of your pen, simply touch the five crosshairs as they appear in order and then click OK. If an error pops up indicating the image is too large, resize the projected image and calibrate again. Once you've calibrated, press the second last soft key, which looks like a flip chart icon, to launch your virtual whiteboard.